हेलो एवरीवन, आई एम बालाजी राव वेलकम टू बी आर मैक्स क्लास दिस इज फर्स्ट क्लास ऑन सेट्स चैप्टर इज दिस सेट्स चैप्टर इज इंपॉर्टेंट एक्चुअली सेट्स चैप्टर इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वी यूज दिस चैप्टर ऑलमोस्ट ऑल एवरीवेयर इन क्लास इलेवन एज वेल एज क्लास ट्वेल्व मोर फ्रीक्वेंटली सेट्स रिलेशन फंक्शन इज ए कॉम्बो like if you understand sets very well then you can understand relations as well as functions if you have grip on sets chapter we use this sets concepts very frequently in relations as well as functions so understanding sets chapter is very very important in this first class of sets chapter we will learn theory part related to exercise number 1.1 and we'll do all exercise problems of 1.1 in this theory what things you will learn you will learn what is set and few examples to understand the definition of a set and we'll discuss examples for sets and we'll discuss examples for not a set also and very very important we will learn how we represent a set in representation of a set total two methods are there one is set builder method another one is roster method once if you are good in these two things like definition of set and representation of a set then you are ready to do first exercise problems without much delay let's begin the class so the first point is what is set a well defined collection of objects is called a set here you need to observe two words first one is well defined and second one is objects what are known as objects in mathematical language all the things which is either living or non living are known as objects a well defined collection of objects is called a set well defined we'll try to understand what is this well defined collection of objects objects means what object means things which are either living or non living well defined collection of objects we'll try to understand what is this well defined with few examples collection of ovals in english alphabet is a set or not collection of ovals in english alphabet ovals in english alphabet are well defined or not what are the ovals in english alphabet what are the ovals in english alphabet everybody knows that a e i o u are the ovals in english alphabet so collection of ovals in english alphabet what the point is ovals in english alphabet is well defined or not yes ovals in english alphabet is well defined so collection of ovals in english alphabet is a set it is a set now we will try to understand this with one more example collection of all natural numbers natural numbers natural numbers are well defined or not what are the natural numbers 1 2 3 4 like that all those are natural numbers so natural numbers are well defined or not yes natural numbers are well defined so collection of all natural numbers is a set or not yes it is a set we'll try to understand this with one more example you observe this collection of all beautiful girls in a class you observe this beautiful girls in a class collection of beautiful girls in a class here the point is this beautiful girl is well defined or not if we consider a particular girl that girl may be beautiful to you the same girl may not be beautiful to your friend so beautiful girl is not well defined this word beautiful girl good girls those things are not well defined so collection of beautiful girls in a class is not a set now we will try to understand this with one more example you observe here collection of good teachers in a college good teacher suppose a particular teacher you may feel that that teacher is good the other person may not feel that the same teacher is a good teacher so good teacher the word itself it is a vague term it is not well defined 
good teacher is not well defined so collection of all good teachers in a college is not a set why it is not a set because good teacher is not well defined a particular teacher may be your favorite teacher the same teacher may not be favorite to your friend so good teacher is not well defined i hope you understand the definition of set now we will learn important note related to this definition see here objects in a set are called elements objects in a set are called elements for example you see this collection of all natural numbers is a set so here what are the objects natural numbers are the objects 1 2 3 4 like that so all those objects are in a objects in a set are called elements so one is element in this set two is element in this set like that objects in a set are called elements and second point is in general sets are denoted by capital letters a b c and elements are denoted by small letter a b c now the second synopsis is representation of a set how we represent a set first method is roster method roster method is also known as tabular method second method is set builder method which is also known as rule method first we will try to understand what is roster method in roster method all the elements of a set are listed and they are separated by commas within curve brackets what is roster method in roster method all the elements of a set are listed and separated by commas within curved brackets we'll try to understand this with two examples first example we know that collection of vowels in english alphabet is a set because vowels in english alphabet are well defined how we represent this set in roster method how we represent this set in roster method what is roster method in roster method all the elements of a set are listed and here what i'll do now i list all the elements of this set what are the elements of this set vowels in english alphabet you list a e i o u all the elements of a set are listed and separated by commas okay you separate them commas within brackets so you observe here all the elements of this set are listed and separated by commas within the brackets so this is known as roster method roster representation of a set we know that generally sets are represented by capital letters so i can write this set like this this type of representation is known as roster method roster method is also known as tabular method we'll try to understand this with one more example collection of prime numbers less than 5 we know that prime numbers are well defined and they are clearly saying that less than 5 so this is a set or not collection of prime numbers less than 5 is a set or not yes it is a set so how we represent this set in roster method what is roster method in roster method all the elements of a set are listed and separated by commas within the brackets so you list all the prime numbers which are less than 5 what are the prime numbers which are less than 5 2 3 prime numbers less than 5 are listed and separated by commas within brackets so this is representation of this set in which method roster method generally sets are denoted by capital letters so this set i can represent like this so this type of representation of a set is known as roster method which is also known as tabular method now we will try to understand what is set builder method set builder method in this method all the elements of a set are represented by with its single common property all the elements of a set are represented by with its single common property we will try to understand how we represent a set in set builder method by using an example i'll consider the same example what is there here you observe collection of vowels in english alphabet here this type of representation is known as roster method now how we represent same set in set builder method see i'll take this set as a 
how we represent we represent like that x such that what is the common property x is a oval in english alphabet you observe here all the elements of this set are like x what is x x is a oval in english alphabet so this is the representation of this set in set builder method you observe here i consider the example collection of prime numbers less than 5 you see here same example i taken here this is the representation of this set in roster method how we represent the same set in set builder method we represent all the elements with its common property it is an element like x what is x x is a prime number x is prime number and what you will say about x x is less than 5 what happened here all the elements of this set is represented with its common property so in this way we represent a set in both the methods i hope you understand what is roster method and what is set builder method now we will do exercise number 1.1 solutions you observe the question what they are asking which of the following are sets you need to observe the following questions and you need to identify are they sets or not justify your answer you need to write why you are saying it is a set why you are saying it is not a set you observe this one the collection of all months of a year begin with letter j collection of all months of a year begin with letter j this collection is well defined or not let me try collection of months of a year begin with letter j for example january is a month which begin with letter j next june is a month which begin with letter j next july that's it these three are the months which begin with letter j so collection of months of year which begin with letter j well defined so what i'll write here this collection is well defined this collection is well defined it doesn't varies from person to person so what i can say therefore this collection is a set so i'll write here it is a set i hope you understand this only the thing you need to observe from the question is whatever the collection they are doing is it is well defined or not okay now you observe the second bit the collection of 10 most talented writers of india most talented writers most talented writer means in what sense some writers write stories very well some writers write poet very well some writers write crime stories very well in what sense they are asking most talented writer if someone ask me to write most talented writers i'll write some names if i ask some other person to write most talented writers that names may vary here this collection is not well defined this collection is not well defined so i can conclude that this collection is not a set you observe this third bit a team of 11 best cricket batsmen of the world best cricket batsmen of the world this also this collection also varies from person to person if someone asks me to write best cricket batsmen of the world i may write some names like sachin viv richards like that if I ask same thing to some other person, they may write different names. Here, best cricket batsman, this varies from person to person. Sachin Tendulkar is best cricket batsman for me, but it may not be for other. Right? So, this collection is not well defined. So, what I can say, I can say that it is not a set this collection is not a set so what is the answer for this this collection is not well defined see very simple here most talented writers best cricket batsmen 
intelligent boy in a class these are vague terms actually so these things are not a set okay a, a team of 11 best cricket batsmen of the world is not a set now you observe the fourth bit the collection of all boys in your class collection of all boys in your class in a class can we identify easily who is boy who is girl yes gender is well defined so this collection is well defined so we can say that it is a set the collection of boys in your class is well defined so i can say that this collection is a set now you observe this fifth bit the collection of all natural numbers less than 100 what are natural numbers less than 100 those who completed 10th standard or 7th standard they can easily identify what are natural numbers here this collection is collection of natural numbers less than 100 if i ask you to write uh, collection of natural numbers less than 100 you will write like this 1 2 3 up to 99 this doesn't varies from person to person right so natural numbers less than 100 are well defined this collection is well defined so i can say that this collection is a set so this collection is well defined therefore it is a set observe this bit a collection of novels written by the writer munshi premchand here you can observe they are not asking most talented or something like that they are asking the collection of novels written by the writer munshi premchand a particular novelist novels we can collect the novels published by Muni, munshi premchand so here this collection is well defined so i can say that it is a set i hope you are understanding here only the thing you need to identify whatever the collection they are asking is it well defined or not if it is well defined then we say that it is a set if it is not well defined then we say that it is not a set okay the collection of all even integers what are even integers zero i hope you know that zero is a even integer okay zero is even integer zero plus or minus two plus or minus four plus or minus six all these are even integers so even integers are well defined so what i can say when the collection is well defined i can say that it is a set this collection is well defined therefore it is a set okay the color next bit you see this is eighth bit the collection of questions in this chapter the collection of questions in this chapter we can collect whatever the questions given in this chapter it's not a big thing to identify yes collection of questions in this chapter is well defined so i can say that this collection is a set okay see this one a collection of most dangerous animals of the world most dangerous animal most talented writer most best cricket batsman these are not well defined see most dangerous animal this may vary from person to person see for me tiger is most dangerous but nowadays we can see on televisions so many people are uh, playing with tigers especially in arab countries some of them are uh, uh, tigers as a pets right so for them tiger is not most dangerous right some people may feel that dog is most dangerous animal but so so many people are having dogs as pets so here uh, this collection varies from person to person so what i can say this collection is not well defined so that i can say that it is not a set you observe this collection is not well defined so we can say that it is not a set i hope you understand the first question of exercise number 1.1 now we will move to second question in exercise number 1.1 you observe what they are asking they given a set 1 2 3 4 5 6 now what they are asking insert the appropriate symbol 
See, this symbol is known as belongs. This symbol is known as does not belongs. Okay. In the blank spaces. Okay. They given here some bits. By seeing that, you need to say that. We know that these are the uh, objects in a set are called elements. These are the elements. We need to say that this particular element belongs to this set or not. Here, you observe this first bit. They given like this. You need to fill with appropriate symbol belongs or does not belong. 5 belongs to set A or not. You observe 5 is the element present in set A. You can see here 5 is present in set A. So what I can say 5 is element in set A. So I can say that 5 belongs to set A. 5 is element in set A. Okay. Now you observe here. Uh, second bit. Second bit you observe 8 is there in set A. You see set A. In set A 8 is not present. So what I can say as 8 is not in set A I can easily say that 8 does not belongs to set A. It's a very simple thing. If element is there in set A then that element belongs to set A. If element is not in set A then that element does not belongs to set A. Uh, you see third bit 0 belongs or does not belongs. You look in the set A. 0 is there in this set A? No. So what I can say? I can say that 0 does not belongs to set A. Now come to this. 4 is there in set A? 4 is there in set A? Yes. 4 is there in set A. So what symbol I need to write? Answer. 4 belongs to set A. Now 2 belongs to set A. You observe 2 is there in set A? Yes, 2 is there in set A. So I can say that 2 belongs to set A. Now, 10 belongs to set A or not. You observe, in this set 10 is there. No, in this set 10 is not there. So what I can say, I can say that 10 does not belongs to set A. I hope you understand second question. Actually, it is very easy. You observe this third question, what they are asking. Write the following sets in roster form. You know what is roster form. In roster method, all the elements of a set are listed and separated by commas within the brackets. You observe all these sets, they are all in set builder form. In theory part related to first exercise, we know what is roster method, what is set builder method. If you observe, all these are in set builder method. They are asking us to write the sets in roster form. Okay, let's see what is first bit. A equal to X. X is an element in set A such that X is an integer. They are saying that X is an integer. We know what are integers. What are integers? 0 plus or minus 1 plus or minus 2 plus or minus 3. These are all integers and that integer must be in between minus 3 and 7. If they given like this, minus 3 less than x less than 7, it means that x value must lies in between minus 3 and 7. Okay, we need to write this set in roster form. To understand you it more clearly, I'll write the number line first. You see, I marked a number line. On the number line, I written order of integers. You can observe here number line is there. I written these numbers as per their order. Okay. What they are asking? We need to write an integer. Okay. We need to list an integer. Roster method means what? We need to list the elements. What elements? Which is an integer and that integer must lies in between minus 3 and 7. So you observe here. I will start like this. Set A. I need to list all these elements. It is an integer and which is in between minus 3 and 7. You, what are there which are in between minus 3 and 7? Uh, you can observe here these are the integers. You can observe here these are the integers which are in between minus 3 and 7. Here if they are given less than or equal to then minus 3 also included but they are not given like that. Now. They are given strictly less than. So we cannot include minus 3. So what are integers in between minus 3 and 7? 
माइनस टू माइनस वन जीरो वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स so you can observe these are the integers which are in between minus 3 and 7 i hope you understand what they are asking in the question which of the following sets write the following sets in roster form you observe here i listed all the elements and separated by commas within the brackets that means i written given set in roster form okay now we'll move to second bit what they are asking x says that you observe the second bit x says that x is a natural number less than 6 actually the set is in set builder method elements of a set are represented with its property now we need to write this set in roster form in roster form in roster method all the elements of a set are listed and separated by commas within the brackets it is very easy bit only we can easily say what are the natural numbers which are less than 6 yes what are the natural numbers which are less than 6 1 2 3 4 5 the main thing you need to observe as they are asking us to write this in roster form you can observe all the elements of a set are listed and separated by commas within the brackets so given set i written in roster form i hope you understand this now let's move to third bit what they are asking in the third bit you see this set is in set builder form elements are represented with its property okay x says that x is a two digit natural number clear it is a two digit natural number says that the sum of its digits is 8 so we need to list all two digit natural numbers whose sum is 8 so that we can write this into roster form okay uh, two digit natural number 08 if i write 08 uh, sum of these digits is 8 but is it is a two digit natural number actually 8 is a single digit natural number so you cannot write 8 so if i move to two digit natural number 17 clearly it is a two digit natural number and sum of digits 1 plus 7 is 8 okay 17 listed now in 20th series uh, 26 clearly it is a two digit natural number sum of uh, digits 2 plus 6 is 8 now uh, 30th series 35 35 it is a two digit natural number and sum of digits is 8 next 44 next 53 correct it is a two digit natural number sum of digits is 8 next 62 next 71 next 80 is 80 is a two digit natural number yes 100% 80 is a two digit natural number is sum of digits is 8 yes 8 plus 0 is 8 so we can easily say that we can easily say that uh, 80 is a two digit natural number sum of digits is 8 so what happened in this in this question all the elements are represented with its property but what i did here all the elements of a set are listed and separated by commas within the brackets that means the set is represented in roster form okay you see this one x says that x is a prime number which is a divisor of 60 this is also in set builder form we need to write it into roster form okay what they are saying x is a prime number okay which is a divisor of 60 so that means you need to identify the prime numbers which are divisors of 60 for example you take 2 2 is a prime number yes 2 is a prime number 2 is a divisor of 60 yes 2 divide 60 yes we know that uh, 30 times right 2 is a divisor 2 is a divisor of 60 2 is a prime number so 2 is prime number as well as it is divisor of 60 now next prime number i'll take 3 3 is a prime number it's very clear and 3 is a divisor of 60 3 is a divisor of 60 yes uh, 
it is divisor it is divisor yes so 3 is a prime number it is a divisor of 60 next next prime number is 5 5 is a prime number and is it is a divisor of 60 yes 5 twelfths are 60 so next after 5 if I write 6 6 first of all it is not a prime number so you cannot write 6 and even though it divide it is a divisor of 60 we know that uh, 6 into 10 uh, even though it is a 6 is a divisor of 60 as 6 is not a prime number you cannot write 6 here like that you check for the prime numbers which are the divisors of 60 you won't find any other prime number which divides 60 so 2 3 5 these are the prime numbers and as well as these are the divisors of 60 so in the question they given all the elements in set builder method all the elements are represented with its property now all the elements are listed and separated by commas within the brackets so i written given z in roster form okay now you see this uh, fifth bit what they are asking the set of all letters in the word trigonometry set of all letters in the word trigonometry this is in the definition form actually right uh, we need to write the this collection in roster form in roster form what we will do we will list all the elements and separated by commas okay look here in this you need to identify what letters are there t is there okay t i'll write next comma r is there right okay next i is there okay next g is there okay next o is there okay till here no problem okay next uh, after o n is there this is also okay after n o is there you observe here o but actually o is already listed no need to list again in roster method we list the element once listed no need to list again here o is there two times so you no need to write two times in roster form this is important point while uh, what is roster method in roster method all the elements of a set are listed here o is element of this collection o is already listed no need to list it again i hope you understand now uh, uh, this no need to write next m yes we need to list it m next e e is not at listed okay e t after e t is that you can observe t is already listed r r is also already listed now y y y very good so what happened here i listed all the elements all the letters of the word trigonometry so they given the question in the definition form i written in set representation that representation is roster form in case the same question if they ask you to write in set builder form we will write like this e equal to x such that x is a letter in the word trigonometry okay right now you see this uh, sixth bit what they are asking in the sixth bit the set of all letters of the word better this is also similar to above problem okay the set of all letters of the word better so b is there okay e is there okay t is there here t is there again t came two times T is already listed no need to list it again okay e e is already listed no need to list it again r r okay b e t r better so here the question is given in definition form i written all the elements i listed all the elements separated by commas within the brackets you know what is roster form in roster method all the elements of a set are listed and separated by commas within the brackets okay please observe this question number four what they are asking write the following sets in set builder form you can observe all these questions are given in roster form 
all the elements are listed separated by commas within the brackets. We need to represent these sets in set builder form. What is set builder form? In set builder form, all the elements are represented with its property. Here, in set builder form, all the elements of a set are represented with its property. You observe, this is the first bit. Actually, this is in which form? This is in roster form. All the elements are listed and separated by commas within the brackets. Here, important thing you need to know is, uh, while writing the roster form in, into set builder form, answer looks little different from person to person. In first bit only, I'll try to explain how it may vary. Okay, you observe the elements 3, this is 6, 9, 12. Actually, 3 ones are 3, 3 twos are 6, 3 threes are 9, 3 fours are 12. This is like all these are multiples of 3. So, if I want to write this set in uh, set builder form, I'll write like this x says that. What is x? x is a multiple of 3 which I'll specify like this x equal to 3n and what about n? n is a natural number which is less than 4 like 1, 2, 3, 4. See this is the method I felt that this is the one I felt that it is very easy. You observe x is what x is it is like 3n. What is n? In place of n you can write 1, 2, 3, 4. Suppose in place of n if I put 1, 3 into 1 I will get the first element. Okay 3 into 1 is 3. In place of n if I write 2, 3 into 2, 6. In place of n if I write 3, 3 into 3, 9. In place of n if I write 4, 3 into 4 is 12. The same set you can write like this also. How x says that x equal to 3n and x and n is a natural number n is a natural number less than 5. So you see here actually both gives the same meaning. This set also gives this set only. If I write like this, this also gives the same meaning of this set. So here important thing is which one we feel easier that we'll write. So I felt that that first one is easy. So I'll keep that one only. But you keep this in your mind from person to person answer may vary. What I am writing here that answer and what answer is there in textbook that may different. But the point is we need to make the things simpler. We don't want to I don't want to make the things complicated. Okay. Now you see the second bit 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. If you observe them, are they are multiples of 2? 2, 1, sir. 2, 2, sir. 2, 3, sir, 6. But 6 is not in this. So this is not in the form of a multiple of 2. If you observe more clearly, this is like 2 power 1, 2 power 2, 2 power 3. 2 power 3 is 8. 2 power 4, 2 power 5. So we can observe that these elements are of the form 2 power n. So in what way I can write this set? This set can be written like this. x says that x is in the form of 2 power n. What about when n I will write here where n equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. As this set is very smaller set writing like this is very easy. Suppose this pattern is continued up to 2 power 99 or something like that. In that case, I will write that x is a natural number less than 100. Okay. So, this is the easy way of representing the set in set builder form for the given set. I hope you are understanding. They are asking us to write given sets in set builder form. In set builder form, elements are represented with its property. So, here these elements I represented with its property. Now you observe the third bit. This is like 5 power 1, 5 power 2, 5 power 3, 5 power 4. Again this is of the form uh, 5 power n. So the above bit and this bit are very similar right. 
So I'll try to write like this x says that x is what x is 5 power n. What about n where n is 1, 1, 2, 3, 4. In place of n, if I write 1, 5 power 1 is 5. In place of n, if I write 2, 5 square is 25. In place of n, if I write 3, 5 cube is 125. In place of n, if I write 4, 5 power 4 is 625. Very easy way of writing this. I felt that this is very easy way of writing given set in set builder form. I hope you are understanding. Now you come to this uh, fourth bit. What they given here? 2, 4, 6 and so on. So how to write this set in set builder form? Uh, x says that what I want to write, I want to write like this x equal to 2n and and what is n here? n is a natural number because it's an infinite set. You can observe here what are natural numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on like that. In place of n if I put 1, 2 into 1, 2 I'll get. In place of n if I write 2, 2 into 2, 4 I'll get. In place of n if I write 3, 2 into 3, 6 I'll get. In place of n if I write 4, 2 into 4, 8 I'll get. This is the one way of writing here. Here you observe I not written where n equal to 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. I just simply written that n is a natural number or else the same thing you can write like this. This set you can write like this x says that x is even natural number even natural number this is also 100% correct actually both the things gives the same meaning so that's what what i am saying while writing given set into set builder form person to person answer may vary you need not to confuse the only thing you need to identify that if both gives the same meaning or not so here i felt that this is okay for me so i'll keep this answer if you felt that this is more suitable answer then you can keep it okay i hope you understand how to write uh, given sets when given sets are in roster form how to write into set builder form you observe this uh, last question one four three like that hundred what form it is actually like uh, n square form i think in place of n if i write one one square is one in place of n if i write two two square is four in place of n if i write three three square is nine in place of n if i write ten what i'll get uh, 10 square is 100 so it is of the form n square so how to write this i'll write like this x says that x is of the form of n square where what i can write where n equal to this is also smaller set i just want to keep the things as simple so that everyone can understand 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 just stop it right or else you can write instead of writing all these things you can write that where n is a natural number less than 11 or else n is a natural number i can write like this also uh, n is a natural number and n is less than or equal to 10 i can write like this also x says that x equal to n square n is a natural number and n less than or equal to 10. I felt that writing like this is very easy so that everyone can understand easily as it is a smaller set. I hope you understand how to write uh, given uh, how to write if the given question is in roster form how to write it into set builder form. Now observe this question number five list all the elements of the following sets list all the elements of the following sets means what in which method we list all the elements in roster method we list all the elements right so you can observe these are the sets given in set builder form we need to write them into roster form okay you observe the first bit what they are asking x says that x is odd natural number okay you look here x says that x is odd natural number x is odd natural number all right the, here this set is given in set builder form we need to write this in roster form we know in roster form all the elements of a set are listed 
what are odd natural numbers odd natural numbers what are odd natural numbers 1 3 5 7 9 like that it's an infinite set it's an infinite set okay so set of odd natural numbers here the elements are represented with its property i listed all the elements so this is the solution for first bit it can be understood very easily now you come to the second bit what they are asking x says that x is an integer you know what are integers 0 plus or minus 1 plus or minus 2 plus or minus 3 these are all integers okay and they are asking what are the integers lies in between minus 1 by 2 and 9 by 2 to understand this more clearly I drawn a number line here you see I written the numbers as per increasing order right we know that in number line when we go from left to right numbers increases now first I will mark this minus 1 by 2 we know that 1 by 2 means 0 0.5 this is minus 0 0.5 you can observe minus 0 0.5 will be here okay and 9 by 2 half of 9 is 4.5 4.5 will be here now you need to identify the integer which are in between these two numbers right what are the integers in between minus 1 by 2 and 9 by 2 you can easily observe these are the integers which are in between minus 1 by 2 and 9 by 2. So as they are asking in the question to list all those elements, I list here 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. These are the integers which are in between minus 1 by 2 and 9 by 2. In earlier also we discussed whenever we see this type of symbol suppose something like a less than x less than b that means you need to write all x values in between a and b here in the same way you need to write all integer values because they are specifying all integer values which are in between minus 1 by 2 and 9 by 2 by seeing the number line we can easily say that these are the integers which are in between minus 1 by 2 and 9 by 2 okay come to this one x says that x is an integer and x square is less than or equal to 4 actually uh, this is the point you learn in uh, inequalities chapter in linear inequalities we have a chapter called linear inequalities there you learn this point when x square is less than or equal to 4 then x value lies in between minus 2 and plus 2 suppose x square is less than or equal to 9 then x value lies in between minus 3 and plus 3 however for time being you consider this as a formula if x square is less than or equal to 4 minus 2 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 2 as it is the first chapter we are doing you consider it as a formula when x square is less than or equal to 4 it can be understood also easily x value lies in between minus 2 and plus 2 here you can see in the question less than or equal to given less than or equal to given okay so here uh, right x is an integer and x square is less than or equal to 4 to understood this i drawn number line here we know that in number line when we go from left to right numbers increases okay so you need to write all the numbers x less than or equal to 4 means x value lies in between minus 2 and plus 2 as the inequality sign is given we need to consider minus 2 as well as 2 you see in this problem they given strictly less than so at that time no need to consider this okay however this is not an integer right you come to this problem here what are the integers which are in between minus 2 and plus 2 actually these are the integers which are in between minus 2 and plus 2 but as they given less than or equal to that means we can include minus 2 as they given less than or equal to 2 we can include 2 also so what i'll write here i'll write here uh, minus 2 you see e minus 2 as an integer that satisfies this condition or not minus 2 whole square minus 2 whole square is what minus 2 whole square is 4 okay next 
minus 2 is our next minus 1 minus 1 is an integer minus 1 whole square is what minus 1 whole square is 1 1 is less than 4 satisfying now? so right minus 1 also comes here similarly 0 next 1 next 2 very simple thing I want to say here when x square is less than or equal to 4 x values lies in this interval as less than or equal to is there minus 2 2 both are included if you want you can check you take an element all these are integers or not yes all these are integers when whatever the element you take you take one element substitute in this definitely it satisfies for example you take uh, one substitute in this one square is one one is less than or equal to four here less than is then that satisfying one is less than four i hope you understand now you see this bit x says that x is a letter in the word loyal we already done this actually what they are asking in the question in the question they are asking to write list all the elements l okay o okay y okay a okay l is there here but that is already listed so no need to write it again so i listed all the elements actually the set is in which form the set is in set builder form i listed all the elements i written in roster form i hope you understand this now you see here uh, x says that x is a month of a year not having 31 days x is a month of a year not having 31 days look here not which months are not having 31 days we all know that january month is having 31 days February, it is very clear, very easy to say. February is a month which is not having 31 days. Okay, March 31 days are there. April, not having 31 days. June, May is having 31 days here, right? June, right? June is a month which is having, which is not having 31 days. September is a month which is not having 31 days. November is a month which are not having 31 days. You may confuse here. June is then after June. What you will get? July. June, July, August. These two months are consecutive months now actually. July, August. Actually, these two months are having 31 days. If you want, you check the calendar. In the month of July, 31 days will be there. In the month of August, also 31 days will be there. So, uh, what are the months which are not having 31 days? These are the months which are not having 31 days. Actually, what they are asking in the question, list all the elements. Now, you can observe, I listed all the elements of this set. So, I hope you understand this. Now, you see here, X says that X is a consonant in English alphabet which precedes K. That means, before the letter K, Whatever the consonants are there that you need to write a a you cannot write even though it precedes k a is not a consonant a is a oval b is a consonant which comes before k c is a consonant which comes before k d is a consonant which comes before k here e e is oval e is not consonant even though e comes before k E is a oval. So they are asking consonants and before K. So E doesn't come here like F, G, H, I. I is a oval. So we won't write J. So these are the letters which are consonants and which precedes K. I hope you understand this. Now let's see last question of this exercise. This is very easy. What they are asking? match each of the set on the left in the roster form with the same set on the right described in set builder form you can observe all these sets are in roster form all the elements are listed and you can observe right side all the elements are represented with its property so this is set builder form this is in roster form what to do match the following match the following is always easy things because left hand side bits given like this now one two three four and here uh, a b c d okay you observe here mathematics mathematics by seeing this we can easily say that it is all the letters of the word mathematics 
So here you observe x is a letter in the word mathematics. So here uh, the third one, this third one is there, na? this third one matches with D. Okay. See here this third one, this, this, both are same sets. One is represented in set builder form. Another one is represented in roster form. Okay. Right. Now uh, you see this one, what these things are, these are like uh, odd natural numbers less than 10. Anything is there like that? Yes. X is odd natural number less than 10. So here for the fourth one, it's a B. For fourth one, it's a B. Okay. Right. Now you observe this one, two, three. What these? These are the prime numbers, right? You see anything given here? It's a prime number and divisor of six. Yes. These are the prime numbers and they are the divisors of six also. So for the second, it's A. For the second, this is A. Okay. What about this first one? First one is uh, 1, 2, 3, 6. Actually, what is remaining? A is over, B is over, D is over. C is remaining. See, you see, what are these? These are the natural numbers and divisors of 6. Observe. Yes, first point, these are the natural numbers. And are these are the divisors of 6? Yes. So here, first bit goes to this C. That's all. I hope you understand this first exercise.